Summit County closes lodges and rentals through June 1st, and Breck cancels all events before July 4th. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, local search and rescue is in the field now, recovering the body of a skier killed Wednesday on Red Peak, west of Silverthorn. Summit Rescue Group delayed recovery for the unidentified man, citing dangerous conditions in the Gore Range yesterday. Authorities confirm a group of three was skiing red on a north face when an avalanche caught two of them. One escaped. The deceased was dragged nearly 800 vertical feet through a collar. This is the sixth avalanche fatality of the season in Colorado, and first since mid-February. The Breckenridge Tourism Office is confident visitors will return this summer, but they are not scheduling anything until July and recommending local businesses do the same. Lucy Kay with the BTO. If social distancing has to be in place for the next year, what does that look like for events? What does it look like for arts, concerts, those sorts of things? The Breck 4th of July Parade is still happening, while the Firecracker 50 Bike Race and National Repertory Orchestra hang in limbo. The Great Rubber Duck Race on Labor Day weekend and Oktoberfest in September are both still on the calendar. You'll have to wait for 2021 to get your fix of bacon and whiskey in Keystone. The annual Bacon and Bourbon Festival is canceled this summer, June 27th to 28th, what would have been the 10th anniversary. Later events at Keystone, like Wine and Jazz in mid-July and Mountain Town Music in August, have still not changed. The Ride Festival in Telluride is the latest summer music festival canceled for coronavirus. Organizers today announced the festival in mid-July is postponed until next summer. Earlier this month, Telluride Bluegrass got the axe, same as most Red Rock shows in May, except Bob Marley's 75th birthday concert May 31st. For now, that one is still a go. The latest now on coronavirus right here in Colorado's high country. Summit County has revised our local public health order, extending closures through June 1st for hotels, lodges, timeshares, and short-term rentals. Gift shops and others will also stay closed, like Joy of Socks in downtown Breckenridge. Owner, Annie Evans. I mean, there's actually a summit. There's no reason to open up before middle of June because there's not much going on before then anyway, so... Uh, we'll hang out to that point, in my opinion. To our south, in Park County, a new public health order adopted yesterday limits travel on county roads to park residents only and closes short-term rentals through July. Hotels and lodges can remain open with 48-hour limits. Summit County confirms 87 cases of COVID-19 as of yesterday, with five new cases since Wednesday and one fatality. Statewide, there are 8,672 cases today and 17 new deaths for a state total of 374 fatalities. And now sightings from the COVID-19 twilight zone, where in Boulder, after record-setting snow this week, a pair of mountain lions was spotted walking through residential streets. The same happened in Park County, where at least one lion was seen just outside Fair Play. This comes on the heels of bogus wildlife sightings, like dolphins in Venetian canals, actually filmed in Sardinia, hundreds of miles away, and drunken elephants in remote Chinese villages, debunked as sober and simply sleeping. Avalanche danger remains considerable today in the Summit Eagle County zone, with up to two feet of snow up high in the past 48 hours. Be wary of wind load. In sports, a recent survey shows 72% of Americans would not feel comfortable at a packed stadium without a coronavirus vaccine, and pro sports are taking advice from the feds with plans to play at empty stadiums and minimal travel for teams. No leagues have announced a return to play quite yet. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency, there's fresh snow in Summit, more than one and a half feet in Blue River to six or seven inches in Silverthorne. And authorities remind everyone to be safe in the backcountry. Two close calls and one fatality this week show the uncertainty of spring-like conditions. And with heavy winds recently, the high alpine is suspect. Choose your approach and descent carefully. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.